The term kidney failure is not uncommon. Perhaps the term is even more familiar now as kidney failure came to the fore during the COVID-19 pandemic as one of the major health challenges faced by thousands here in Trinidad and Tobago and millions worldwide, putting them into the high-risk category for the virus. A person who suffers kidney failure requires dialysis in order to survive as the body's kidneys no longer function and doesn't filter blood the way they should. As a result, waste and toxins build up in the bloodstream. With dialysis, waste products, toxins and excess fluid are removed from the blood. It's what helps sustain and prolong the lives of kidney patients. Dr. Rohit Das of the Freeport Medical Center, who runs one of the few facilities in Trinidad and Tobago that offers treatment to renal failure patients, walked health check through the life-saving dialysis procedure. Kidney failure is... is is a very serious problem because um, it involves the organ that is um, used to uh, clean the blood or excrete waste and toxins from the blood. All right, so um, blood goes through your kidneys and as it flows through your kidneys, as it circulates through your kidney, the kidney um, would secrete or excrete rather the excess water from your blood. That's how you produce urine and it also excrete toxins and other waste. Dr. Das explained that chronic diseases such as diabetes, high blood pressure and also severe bladder infections are the main causes of kidney failure. High blood pressure puts um, strain on your nephrons. Nephrons are the units inside the kidney that filters the blood and the, the, those nephrons become eroded and damaged because of the high blood pressure. Similarly, um, diabetes, when it is out of control, and particularly patients who suffer from type 1 diabetes who needs insulin, insulin dependent, the sugar load on the kidney becomes too high. There are two types of ways to receive dialysis, hemodialysis and peritoneal dialysis. The most common is hemodialysis. A machine removes blood from your body, filters it through a dialyzer or an artificial kidney, and returns the cleaned blood to your body. The process takes three to five hours several times a week, with vital signs being monitored throughout the procedure. Remember, we are taking the fluid, the blood out of the body, passing it through the artificial kidney, and sending it back out into the body. As the blood passes through the artificial kidney and we take out the fluid, sometimes extra fluid or more fluid can come out and that will be extra, will be discarded. So if you take out a little too much fluid, the patient blood pressure will obviously drop. So that's probably one of the most common side effects of dialysis. Dr. Daz says kidney failure is quite common among the population in Trinidad and Tobago, and the number of people requiring dialysis treatment increases every year. It's probably about a thousand patients or so that receive dialysis at the moment, which is, which is I consider a population of 1.4 million people. I mean, that's a high figure, right? Um, and we also have to take into consideration some of the patients who dialyze in hospital and so on. Dr. Das explained that the dialysis procedure is a costly one, which ranges between $800 and $1,500 per session. Kidney failure is usually permanent, but not always. In chronic or end-stage kidney failure, persons will require dialysis for the rest of their life. With your TTT News Health Check, I am Crystal Wilson.